So this is the Raspberry Pi HQ camera module for a, a Raspberry Pi. And if I were to do this over again, I probably would have went with a little bit less expensive of a sensor. And we're going to go ahead and make a camera case for it. This is going to end up being a Octoprint camera. So my first iteration of this mount is what you see right here. And the design work that I did, you know, it took me a while because I was trying to relearn Fusion 360 again. But everything looks like it should fit. But the model that I downloaded for this camera sensor didn't have these Allen bolts. So I have a little bit of a clearance issue when it comes to, the, to these Allen bolts. I might end up redesigning this and just taking this portion out of it. That would help out quite a bit as far as uh, making that clear. And then this part here, I'll just go ahead and unbolt that. I don't think that there's really a need to have that on there. And so the mount, I want to place it on this Y-axis so that way it moves up and down with the nozzle. Now the tricky part of it is getting this camera to point directly at the nozzle and try to give the best possible view I can. So let's go ahead and design one up and uh, try to get this camera mounted on there. So this is our second iteration of this little mount here and it just, some of it turned out and some of it didn't. Like this section here, that really didn't turn out very well. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off like right here at the bottom and make it a larger surface area for it to stick to the bed because right now I'm just right here in this corner. This part, it looks like it turned out all right. Uh, we might have to do some work with these holes here, but whoop. other than that, I think it looks, looks pretty good. Let me grab the camera. We'll see if it fits in there all right. So here we have the camera. It seems to me like that'll work. Well, maybe not. We might have some clearance issues on the back. All right, so now we have some light on the subject and this really does fit in there quite well. Fits in there great, actually. And then these parts here will go on here like so. I might just put this together and use it as it is. The only bad thing about it is that I can't really reach in here to open up the ribbon clip. So I might do a little bit more design change on that so I can get in there and actually open that up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll radius these a bit more and then maybe cut that down a little bit. But I think this is a really good start. This is pretty rigid. It's pretty clean looking. So, and as far as this part goes, this part seems to fit together all right. And this part still has a nut that gets dropped down in here. So 
So we'll have to see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up, even though that this is not 100%, but I just wanna see if this is gonna work out all right. So right now it looks like it's upside down. We'll have to change that in the settings. But right now I just wanna kinda of get it where it's focused in really well. Now there is a little bit of a lag. Okay, so it's getting worse there. Let's try to get this other direction. All right, it seems to be getting a little bit better. Let's hold off a second. Right now we have good focus on the front of the Creality right here. We're gonna push this Creality right underneath the, the nozzle. And that's where we're gonna try to get our best focus. That actually looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna tighten the set screw up so it doesn't jiggle loose. I almost need to get a light. I need to get a light set up around, around here to, to shine down on that. Because right now I think I got a lot of shadow. Let's, uh, let's print something with it and see if See if it turns out. I think on my next iteration, I'm also gonna run the ribbon cable out of the bottom. So that way the camera is right side up and we don't have to change anything with our settings. But for now, we'll go ahead and print it just like this and I'll go ahead and just, I'll flip it and post. So I think we can call this little project complete. The lighting is a lot better than it was before. As you can see right here. Now that's the view through the camera. And we'll try printing a little bit with it and uh, see what it looks like.